What's up everyone, Mark and Nicholas back again with a new unboxing. Today we'll be looking at two Final Fantasy items, one being the Cloud Strife Play Art Kai action figures, and the second one being uh, King Ridge's st Static Art Bust. Uh, both being uh, Final Fantasy's uh, 30th anniversary product, we decided that we'll be reviewing both of them. So let's open these babies up because I know nothing about them! <laughs> Let's start with Cloud first. Uh, like I said, oh no, I don't think I said it. It is actually from the series Play Art. He's the second time they are doing Cloud. Uh, the first one was the version of the movie Advent Children. This is uh, the version of the Final Fantasy VII remake game that is supposed to come out, I think, this year. I don't remember. So this one in this timeline is before the first one they released. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's not much different besides it's not the same blade. Okay. This one is the Buster Sword, while the first one is the Material Blade. Actual Cloud. I was going to say like the yeah. <laughs> Cloud's uh, blade. And in the first one, he has like another kind of suit, more like with like some sort of a cape ish okay. half. Anyway. I prefer this version by far. I'm not a big fan of uh, Advent Children's version. Well, see, I'm not. I'm not familiar with Final Fantasy really. Like, I've I've never really played any of the games. However, his look right here, it looks more like the iconic look of what I know yeah. Cloud looks yeah, like. Exactly. With that blade and everything like that, and it's yeah. actually it's a really nice figure. Now, just quickly to go over because I'm an action figure guy. Yeah. Um, there's actually quite a lot of articulation and it seems that the hinges and everything clicks very well. Each of his feet, his boots, he has uh, toe articulation so you can bend mm -hmm. it for his toes. He has ankle articulation. It's all in a ball joint so you can actually move it all around. Double jointed knees, which is really cool. Uh, the got... biceps can... Uh, swivel? Uh, yes. Oh yeah, they swivel too. That's yeah. pretty cool. You can do a lot of pauses with that. And everything clicks, which that's yeah. great because it will hold it in exactly. a position. Like for instance, like that, holding something really heavy, it's not problem. And if you were no, to shake no. it, it would probably move. Now, what we didn't pull out, it actually comes with a base. Yeah, I have the uh, box here. You can't, you can't really see it, but it comes with a base. Uh, you know, you can't really see it. So it comes with a base, so it would help it stand up a little bit more. But besides that, it stands up pretty good on its own. It comes with, I think, a total of six extra hands. So you can do all sorts of different poses. Three pairs. <laughs> <laughs> Three pairs of hands. And yeah, so that's, that's, that's a that's really a, nice That's figure. actually one kind of sad thing. Uh, they released not that long ago a version with Sephiroth. I don't know if you're familiar with it. He's the main bad guy. Is that the one with the one wing? That's the one with the hey, one ring. Hey, look at that, there I'm you learning. Go, hey. But exactly, the guy comes with the one ring, which is a pretty massive thing, with also uh, three pairs of hands and like his big ass sword. The other one, being the same price, has more material to it. Okay. This one is only the figure and the sword and like three pairs of hands, which is a little bit sad, but you pay for the character because he's like the emblem of the most famous Final Fantasy game. So... Yeah, wherever you see him, everybody would picture Final Fantasy. Yeah, when... Usually, when you think of Final Fantasy, you think of that guy. You think of his game, Final Fantasy VII. And the other thing that you have there quickly? King Regis of Final Fantasy XV, uh, the, the, the most recent game. It is a pretty basic bus. It's not numbered of anything. Uh, we brought it only because it was the Final Fantasy 30th anniversary product, uh, but I'm I'm a big fan of this character. I was really sad when, spoiler alert, he dies. <laughs> but yeah, he's 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 also like really detailed when, when you start looking to it. Nice, yeah, it's, it's nice. I kind of want to cosplay with him. I had the beard. Uh, pretty good price, going around like eighty dollars Canadian for a bust so that's well detailed 
though it may be small, it's super well. It is out. small. It is pretty small. And it's it's really light. <laughs> it is $80 for like a really small piece of plastic, but it's a really pretty piece of plastic. <laughs> and it's Final Fantasy 15, which is a really good game. Maybe one of my favorites. So if you're a fan of it, that's something that you guys should consider yeah. picking up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to get to. We just said the price of that exactly. one there. Exactly. This one's around is $80 Canadian. Uh, Cloud is around $200 Canadian, or $100.50 US. So this one is a pretty penny. But it's the average of, of all the figures of this series. Play Art Kai's are for some reason really expensive, but you pay for quality. It's not the common uh, small action figures at $20, $30 that you get. It's so many like articulation and ratcheting joints. It's 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 a it's a solid figure. It's a really solid figure. You're you're paying not only for the name, not only for the character, but you're paying for the quality of the product. And it got it has really nice quality. So that's good. So that's about it. So guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See ya.